and it's already a mess. Oh. Summer vacation sure isn't a holiday for me. Oh, once I get this done, I'll have to start on the laundry. We're home! Hi, Mom! What's for lunch? What? It's lunchtime already? Nemily, num spaghetti, Mom! I'm glad you like it. Hey, kids, you need to pick up after yourselves, okay? You left your room in a big mess. Empty cans were all over the place. Huh? Mom, you didn't throw them away, did you? They went in the recycling bin. Uh, I was gonna use them for my latest invention. They were all ready. I can't believe you threw them away. Huh. Oh. <clears throat> Only one can left to go. Harold, come downstairs. It's dinner time. I'm sacrificing dinner for science. I'm full of canned peaches. No. Oh. I needed those to make pie. What are you doing? You're gonna get a stomach ache. Science is far more important than baking. Stay in your room, Einstein, until you invent a better attitude. Great rhombus! My invention is almost finished! I could really use a break. Huh? of maybe making some chocolate chip cookies. We pulled the drawer out too far looking for the baking pan and the pots down. You can't let them fall on the floor. Now they all have to be washed again. Where did you hide the chocolate chips? While you're at it, get some peanut butter. No cookies until this mess is cleaned up. Now get cracking, Quintuplet. <gasps> oh, I can hardly wait until school starts. These kids have me totally exhausted. Those peaches. I can almost taste the Nobel Prize. Oh, we usually <laughs> get a snack around now. <laughs> Sounds like I have an opportunity to put my invention to work already. Feeling hungry? Leave it to my new invention. Huh? Explain. Allow me to present my Kitchen Robo 3000 automatic pancake maker. It's, it's an, an automatic pancake, pancake maker? Mm-hmm. This revolutionary kitchen appliance is entirely self-sufficient. All you have to do is add sugar, baking powder, salt, eggs, flour, and milk in the various compartments. You don't even have to measure. You just throw it in and turn on the machine. Not only will it mix a perfectly fluffy batter, but it will cook the pancakes and even flip them over when they're deliciously crispy and golden. Mm. Sit back and relax while technology does the work. much for your fabulous flipping invention. Looks like we had a food fight in here. I just need to set the angles. This was a test run. <sighs> Careful, turn it off, quick! Look, it's throwing pancakes everywhere. Mom's gonna blow a gasket. I'm glad to hear it. How could you do that? This was my genius creation, and you smashed it into pieces! <laughs> if I wanted another automatic mess maker around here, I would have had six run the kitchen. This will take forever to clean. We're sorry. I'm not. I did what I did for science. I would like to win the Nobel Prize someday for exploratory technology, but you're continually destroying all of my inventions. But I... You're the meanest mom in the whole universe! You don't believe in me! <laughs> I never want to see you again! Oh. Harold, you go apologize to mom right now. She had to break your invention. It was going berserk and it wouldn't stop. Treating her like this is very uncool. You don't really think she's the meanest mom in the universe? What loving parent would demolish their child's great invention like that? She doesn't care about me. Mom, are you in there? It's me, Harold. I'm sorry about what I said. I didn't mean it. Please don't be sad anymore, okay? 
She's not falling for it. I've never seen Mom act like this before. She'd been locked up in her room for over an hour. He hurt her feelings. Mm. I know! We can look in on Mom through the window! She's fine. She's just worn out because she's been working too hard in the heat. All she needs is a good rest. Thank you, Doctor! Poor Mom. Thank goodness she has me here for support. We should try and pick up after ourselves and help Mom around the house by doing our chores. Mm-hmm. I think we should clean up the whole house from floor to ceiling so when Mom wakes up, she'll be happy. Cool idea, Carly. Harold can start by cleaning up the kitchen. I have better things to do. It's your genius invention that made all the mess in there. The least you can do is help out. I have a masterpiece to reassemble. You guys can do the housework. <laughs> Here's more! What? We've done five loads. How did we get all of our shirts dirty? Remind me not to wear white again. <sighs> I'm worried about Mom! I think I'll just peek in to make sure that she's all right. Why is the floor wet? Didn't they remember to wring out the rag? What a sloppy job they did. It's dangerous to leave so much water on the floor like this. Mom has told us a thousand times to wring it out. Rinse your rag with clean water, then twist it like this. And don't forget to wipe around the bucket when you're done. It's hard on the vertebrae. So cleaned the house, huh? done the laundry, and made all the beds. Let's go, Glintuffet! If they did the other chores as sloppily as they did the floors, then we're in trouble. Ah, don't they remember? When you hang the clothes up to dry, smooth them out first. Then you won't have to do as much ironing later because there won't be as many wrinkles. See what I mean? Thank goodness they're still wet. <laughs> These blankets aren't exactly hung very well. No wonder they're slipping off the rail like that. What a long day! That's nothing compared to what I've been through. <sighs> How does Mom do it? I feel like I just ran a marathon. And she does it all by herself, remember? Our mom is a machine. I'm sorry that I lost my patience and broke your invention, Harold. <laughs> it doesn't matter, Mom. I'll make another one. It made such a mess at the kitchen. I don't blame you for getting angry. All I care about is that you get better. I didn't mean all the things I said. I love you! <laughs> I love you, too. Mommy! What happened? Why am I in bed? You were working too hard in the heat and you fainted. Hey, guys! Mom is awake and she's reasonably coherent! <laughs> I know. I'm sorry I made you worry. <laughs> What's the matter, Harold? I guess I didn't realize how hard you worked to take care of all of us. I can't believe I said you were the meanest mom in the universe. I'm so sorry. From now on, I promise to make things easier for you by helping out more. Me too. I'll set the table and clear away the dishes after dinner. How's that? And I'll stop throwing my clothes on the floor in a big heap. But these chores just don't compare to what you do for us. I bet you wish you didn't have quintuplets because five kids are so much work. You must be tired all the time. I love being your mom, and I'm so lucky to have all you five kids, so don't worry. I wouldn't trade my life for the world, give or take a few loads of dirty laundry. Nothing gives me more joy than seeing you happy and healthy. Thanks, Mom. Huh. I know! Let's give Mom a summer vacation! Great idea! Yeah, and we can start by throwing her a big party. How does that sound? Okay! Mm-hmm. That's cool. Huh? Uh-oh, that was Mom's best china. Huh? Oh, great! You made me drop the flower! <laughs> 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 What's 
What's going on in there, dear? They're trying to bake me a cake for the thank you party. You are one brave woman. As long as the pancake maker is still out of commission, I'm fine. Mom, you better be 